things, I guess. He is a, a no co or he, he's an indie maker, uh, influencer more than anything. He, he lives out in Fajar, or he lives out in Singapore. He, live, he, he has been working on the web for over 10 years. He started as a freelancer and um, has sort of been building his way up. I met Fajar um, through a really cool community called MakerDog. And it's, if anyone who wants to get into sort of this sort of community thing, I would recommend joining MakerDog. Like it's getmakerlog.com. It's a, it's a really, really, really cool platform. And um, you'll, you'll see the likes of Vajar and what he does every day. But um, on top of everything, Vajar is actually also a pretty spectacular yo-yo player. So I don't know if he's mm -hmm. going to talk to us all about yo-yoing, but um, mm -hmm. I'll, let him, I'll let him kick off with this talk now. And uh, right. thanks very much, Vajar. Very lucky to have you. Thank you for having me, David, and uh, Race Ventures. And hello, everyone from Singapore. And uh, so I'll share my screen right now, OK? Uh -huh. So uh, I'll introduce myself again, <laughs> maybe. My name is Fajr Siddiq. Uh, been doing this like uh, 30, uh, like 10 years. OK, so I'm going to share this uh, on the desktop, right? OK, wait, share the screen. Oh no, wait, just a minute. Can you hear me? All right, here we go. See you, man, awesome. Awesome, can you hear me loud and clear? Right, so this is my presentation. Then I prepare a slide, uh, just using a PowerPoint. So I'm still an entrepreneur in the maker, influencer, producer, professional player for more than 20 years. Been playing yo-yo uh, at an digital nomad. Something got to do with my lifestyle thingy, travel and work, and a designer and a developer myself. So basically it's just me, my laptop, paying bills and buy me coffee. So this topic today is tech for non-tech. Thank you, uh, Race Ventures, for putting this together. So building automation, community and no code. So first of all, I would like to share you about Jamstack. If any one of you know about Jamstack, so Jamstack is JavaScript, APIs and uh, markup. So um, I really like uh, one thing about Jamstack is that I use uh, one of these hosting services called Netlify.com. So you can uh, put this together uh, via the GitHub and create a redirect. And you can put whatever uh, slash, whatever uh, names or short URL link to share easily. And you can do that uh, really quickly without building any website pages because building website pages takes time. So next I'm gonna go to growing your audience. So I built this uh, very friendly uh, community on Telegram. Uh, it's a diversity group, uh, people from all different sorts of background, uh, religious background, a different race and it's everywhere part of the world and um, it's really great to see everybody's shipping and launching helping them to actually uh, to start their side projects and build their MVPs and also launch and also earning their first dollar. So next I will share with you more about open startups sharing metrics and stories. So this is a very cool uh, software or website that I use uh, is by Simple Analytics. So it's basically, uh, it's privacy friendly and data is always encrypted and you can always uh, see, you know, how many views did you get? And you can share this uh, publicly online instead of using uh, Google Analytics or maybe like Tatom. So next we'll share you more about uh, tipping, tipping culture. You know, we as creators or makers, or you know, sometimes we don't do like a full-time work or like maybe we don't uh, do something. We, we wanna do something that's small. So we want to help each other to grow. Sometimes, you know, we have this culture. I don't know about uh, people in Europe or in Ireland. Do they give like tipping? Like, you know, buy a coffee for somebody else. But this is uh, putting everything online digitally. So uh, it's similar something like Patreon, but this, uh, it works with Stripe and PayPal as well. So it shares uh, your earnings, your visitors, your supporters. So you can go to buymecoffee.com for this one. And it's really useful. So I use this for tipping, tipping culture. And then uh, there's a website called Indie Hackers where you can actually share your uh, Stripe revenue. 
So this is how actually I grow uh, from my tipping culture of what I'm doing. So hitting my revenue for monthly recurring. And this, uh, this data is verified by Stripe. You can just go on IndieHackers.com, create a profile and uh, add your product and as well as um, your uh, Stripe if you want to share. So this is more about open startup. The next is, uh, I think David shared with you about make a lot. So shipping in public. I think the culture here is about shipping public. Like, you know, a lot of people share a lot of stuff, what they do. So usually they share on like uh, Instagram stories or Facebook, like, hey, I'm going to build this, I'm going to build that. So probably there's some other task that you want to do, which is more smaller and more micro, but it's public, but it's being shared by the like-minded people. So that this community is called make a lot. And most of them are developers, but uh, as soon as uh, Bakerlog has grown since year 2018, uh, there's a lot of uh, different background join this community. Uh, people who wants to learn how to code, people who knows about no code, people who are doing video content, people who are probably just a new founder or someone who is just uh, learning perhaps. So they log their tests and everybody can see their tests and you can praise them and comment and so on and so forth. So next is like, uh, I'm, I'm going to share you more about using uh, make a lock, but with the web codes. So with on the github.com itself, you can actually upload uh, uh, the web codes, not upload. Uh, what I meant is uh, just add the web hook. So how do you add that is just create a, like a product on make a lock. And then you can just, uh, these are some of the products that I'm working on right now is on progress. And some of it is like my company and some of it is like my micro startups, which means a side project. And then uh, this is the uh, integration of the webhook. So each time uh, I, deploy, uh, I update my GitHub, I commit something on github.com. So the task will automatically lock uh, on the make a lock. So you can either lock your task from Telegram or from the GitHub itself. Okay. So this is more about automation stuff. So next, I'm going to share you more about product launching. I think everybody knows what's Product Hunt. It's really interesting. So I started, I started join Product Hunt uh, as a community member, uh, just a user, you know, like uh, in 2016, but I didn't really use it because I think uh, it's just like people publish some website or some apps, but after a while, uh, in 2018, I got started to be active, and uh, in 2019, I became one of the. I was selected. I got an email from Ryan Hoover, and they actually, uh, you know, they wanted me to be the influencer for Founder Dot Club, which is by Product Hunt, and you actually can uh, use my domain. I mean, this link, com slash founder club to get a 50% off first year. There's so many stuff like uh, a lot of things you can get uh, really cheap like the softwares and so much stuff. You can just go to, to the link that I give you. You can fill up the form. So you get 50% off first year. So this is a, the, 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 the influencer thingy. And then next is just this digital nomad lifestyle. I've been uh, traveling uh, and working remotely with just my laptop, with just a Wi-Fi, and just somewhere, you know, a nice place to just have a mango juice or probably a coffee, working in Starbucks, or uh, working somewhere with Wi-Fi in public. So this is like more of a culture thing where, uh, you know, in the future is like of remote working is here. So a lot of people, they want to have like work life balance because they want to balance their mental health. You know, they want to, they, they want to have like meeting other people, uh, people from different parts of the world, and they want to travel and see nature as well. So this is a very good place. Uh, you can sign up, uh, made by Peter Levels. Uh, and as well as uh, he's my close friend as well. So you can just sign up here and uh, you can uh, basically put uh, the, explore the places, like which is the best spots that you want to go and best for nomading. So you can check out nomadlist.com. So I've been nomading about 10 years, but due to the COVID-19, uh, you know, I'm just back at home or going to the groceries. <laughs> so next, uh, next is meeting all these uh, makers, founders, and digital nomads in real life. So I, I, make, I like to make videos, like uh, just blog, and also uh, uh, product launches video as well. You can go to my YouTube channel, there's a whole like, bunch of playlists that I make. So, um, so this is my first time meeting all these people that I never met before, and they, 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 were, in, uh, they were on Twitter. So they were on Twitter and then we kind of like chat and then go on Telegram and then we meet in real life and we kind of like ship together, we launch together. 
and they run their own stuff, they run their own uh, side projects. Some of them already have company. So it's a few videos. So meeting in real life uh, is really great. And then next, uh, produce your own content. So I think it's really important for us to not just rely on some other media or local newspaper or somebody to write about you. I think it's really important for us as a, like uh, indie makers, we kind of like write our own blog. So I, I'm, not, I'm not really good at writing blog, but um, maybe I just blog like probably uh, one year, probably like, I don't know, three, five times. Uh, I just started my podcast and it's on my fourth episode. And I did a lot of launches videos you can see here. So uh, this uh, launches videos like 30 seconds and I edit videos and most of the videos helps uh, people to uh, get a lot of leads. Uh, it is good for advertising. Uh, so they share these videos. Uh, I can share with you the link if you want me to share with you. And then next, uh, you know, feature articles. So I was featured on the code, code.org for making a no code game called supermakers.xyz. So you can build games with no code as well. And it's good for like, uh, you know, uh, people who wants to get into the tech or, you know, if you want uh, someone who is young, you know, they can start with games and then they go to coding and probably they go to the business and so on and so forth. Everything you got to start from young. So uh, I was also featured on uh, makermag.com uh, and I was the judge spotlight for this uh, fixathon.io. It was like uh, for this fix the climate, fix the climate uh, for a cause. Later on, I will share you more about that. So uh, I also built communities offline and online. So for this one, uh, I built community uh, offline. So we have like a more than about 200 people. So this is actually my second company. So we started our startup just selling t-shirts and then uh, we have just this uh, a very simple uh, niche where we focus on uh, youth and uh, skill toys as well as um, like a lifestyle culture. So a lot of kids, you know, they like play yo-yos, skateboarding, cycling, you know, all these hobbies kind of stuff. So I, I built this and you can see all the videos in there. And uh, I sell t-shirts as well. And uh, we sold over a thousand of t-shirts. And uh, currently uh, we are not producing because uh, t-shirts are sold out. So probably I will, you know, make a new batch or something. So I've been running this. And also building a community on Telegram is so easy. We can just uh, sign up Telegram. Uh, you know, just add some like-minded people to discuss certain topics. So uh, this is an online uh, Telegram community. And you can build, I, I built jamstatmakers.com and as well as open podcast. So with the people that I've never met in my life, including David. So we met online and we kind of just like uh, chat with the people around there. And next is, uh, this, this is the one that I did for the hackathon, which is the, being the judge. So uh, it's for a good cause. So we want to save the earth, I guess. Yeah. So next, uh, the future of no code is here. So I guess you guys probably know, uh, I think Amazon recently came out with uh, no code. So the big companies, the big players also as well, uh, you know, is doing no code. So you can uh, click on the link there, honeycode.aws. So there's like templates and pricing you can check out. And next, uh, I have this whole bunch of these uh, links. So uh, at the bottom here, there's like three links, these three bottom links. You can actually sell your site projects. You know, you can sell it at probably like $1,000, $5,000, $10,000. So you, maybe you want to start a startup. Maybe you want to build a company. But some people, they want to build a site project and then uh, they just want to like sell it away. So I had a friend named Danish. Um, I, I kind of like helped him from the start and he was building like uh, his nine project. It was called No Code API that David showed a while ago. So I kind of like helped him and he sold his project for $22,000 and it was amazing. And now he built, he used the money to travel and pay his bills and travel and uh, just, uh, you know, build his next project, which is No Code API. So it's very important just not to just build projects. You need, you need to know where you're going. So like uh, it's either you want to, you know, sell it or maybe you just want to earn it from there whichever it is. And the rest of this, uh, you can, I can share with you about StatBit. So StatBit is like a gem stack for no code. It's really great. You just click, 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 and the website is done and you just fill up the content and that's it. I really like gem stack because it's fast and it's secure and it's very useful for privacy as well. So next, uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, 
like a list of no-code tools. If you want, I have uh, gathered this uh, link and together inside here, this whole bunch, you just click and everything is in there in the air table. And of course, uh, some article links, reference for like uh, talking about open startups. Uh, and the second link was uh, talking about my uh, first company that I built, which is a digital agency and how I actually run a small studio and as well as uh, make a Mac. This is Normat, and thank you so much. Uh, this uh, for more, you can just go uh, for my slides at fagacidic.com slash raise ventures. Right. Do you hear me? Awesome, Bajar. Yeah, thank awesome, Bajar. Thank you very if, much. If, if you guys have any question, do ask me or leave a, like a chat or something. Or if not, you can ask me later on Twitter. So I hope uh, I can bring a benefit or share some knowledge. If you need some help or anything, hopefully I can share something useful. Awesome, dude. Do you want to make me the host there and then I'll ask you a few questions that we've got here already yeah. while we're waiting? So um, one of the things that um, Jenny, one of the, the founders of Raze, actually commented on was that you sent over your slide deck, like you said, and it was fajarselect.com oh. forward slash Raze Ventures. I know you touched on that in the top at the start. Like, uh, could, could you give us a quick overview and sort of how you set that up? Was that done through no code or was that done through GitHub or what was sort of the process of doing that? Which one? Uh, whenever, where you were able to do your redirect, so you're able to set up a redirect with uh, so your VHRC like yeah. com goes to. Yeah, so, okay, you want to see now, like live? Well, whatever you want. If, if All right, if you want to let's show go. Us. Let's do this. Okay, so wait, let me just. Uh, switch on this Google Chrome for a while. Just a minute. Uh, let me just go to race branches. Just a minute. Let me just share my screen real quick. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Here you go. So okay. Right now. Wait. What's the race branches website? Okay. For example, I want to share this link, right? Can you see my screen now? You can, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's say I want to go to this uh, this link. But this, you know, you see this link, this short URL is really long up here, right? It's really long. So what I do is just I make a, I just cut that link and I go to my GitHub repository, the, the website, and I just create a file here called underscore redirects, okay? Just click that one. And what I do next is, uh, just a minute. And I click this one and I will just edit this file and just scroll down and just go down here. And uh, I just put uh, uh, race ventures event. Okay, just copy paste and you just like have a space between here and that's it, done. And what you need to do next is just make the comic changes. Okay. So you need to go to Netlify because I'm using Netlify to uh, post this, my website, my website. Let me just uh, do this real quick. So I just click here and just clear catch and uh, deploy. So let it load for a while. The Netlify is working on. Just a minute, probably the internet. What is doing is actually quite fast. There you go, it's done already. <laughs> yeah, because I have uh, some other stuff here. Okay, once it's done, they will just say the site is live. So what you need to do now is just go to any like empty, you know, just right here at the top part here and just put a uh, race, ventures, event, right? So you want to share this link to everybody on the internet, but then you press enter and boom. And it goes to raise venture events. See, you can do this as a short URL and you can redirect as many, uh, whatever you want. So I think it's really useful, you know, because people doesn't want to see like bit.ly or some short URL company. I don't want to have those brand I want my own domain brand. You know what I mean? So 
yeah so if you have any questions please uh ask me yeah yeah cool um by the way everyone feel free to unmute your mics and jump in and ask questions yeah just jump in just like but, switch on the mics and probably ask me some questions <laughs> oh you want to see but, me uh, play yo-yo <laughs> of course yeah, we definitely want to see you play yo-yo <laughs> yeah show us okay okay i just gonna show you real quick so this is one a eh? That's almost, that's almost faster than uh, the Netlify upload. Okay, wait, there's another one. Real quick, this is off string. You see, the yo-yo is not attached to the string. It's like no code, you know? Yeah. So, Fajar, how did, you, how, how did you get into yo-yo? Was, was yo-yo big in Singapore, or did you just jump into it? Uh, through, uh, you know, it's always the media. It's always the TV. I always watch uh, TV. So they always have these commercials. So I go to the toy department store and just buy a yo-yo. So I was just that little kid, 12 years old, just going up and down. And then I got it really serious. I started to uh, play and compete. And then after that, I joined yo-yo contest. And then after that, at the age of 14 years old, I got sponsored by Duncan Toys, one of the top uh, skill toy company in the world. Uh, they are a very huge company. They are everywhere in the part of the world. Duncan Toys, you can just go to the website, yo-yo.com. And I've been sponsored for 14 years and I've been playing yo-yo for 20 years. And I travel to other countries uh, to judge and also manage uh, community. So this is something for my hobby. And how do I get paid? Is uh, basically I do shows and pretty much about that. Do you, do you think you got into like community by being in the yo-yo community? Is that how you sort of transferred from learning your learning as part of that sort of like in Northern Ireland here, we have quite, quite a good sort of uh, indie rock scene or like uh, yeah. rock and roll scene. Was, so like, like my yeah. experience through like learning, learning, learning about campaigns and social media was through like um, that type of thing. So, so uh, pretty much uh, I started out with uh, this community called myspace.com. So there was this whole bunch of uh, indie creators and music, people share music. So I was like joining the forum and discussion. And the next thing I went for a meetup in the town area part of Singapore. And there was like people in the band, people playing punk rock music, hardcore metal, and then uh, people playing some, uh, some other songs. And then I got into like uh, doing silk screen printing t-shirt. That's how I got started with uh, graphic design. And then from there, uh, I was very much involved with like socialize myself. So I learned about community. And then uh, from there, uh, it just go naturally. So you just kind of like join and then you just like mix around yourself and ask questions. I think it's very important to ask questions and always to learn from other people as quickly as possible and see and also make a lot of mistakes because I've done so many mistakes in uh, whatever I do. So you just uh, practice to perfect, I guess. Yeah.